The Aubrey Trail trial wraps up its second week. Prosecutors say Aubrey Trail and Bailey Boswell stalked Sidney Loof. Today, the jury heard the grisly details from Trail himself, though he wasn't in the courtroom. Senior reporter Jake Wazkowski describes Trail's bizarre explanations. A warning, this segment may be graphic for some viewers. <laughs> Aubrey Trail tells his side of how Sidney Loof died and why she was dismembered in November 2017. From his first arrest to being charged with murder, Trail talked to investigators 12 times. Prosecutors show video surveillance of Trail eyeing the 24-year-old Loof at her work in Lincoln before she was allegedly murdered later that night. During the hours of interview played for the jury, Trail started off by saying what happened at the Wilbur apartment was an accident. Trail claims he paid Lou $500 to fulfill a sex fantasy with two other women. FBI investigators Mike Massif and Eli McBride pressed Trail in June 2018 for details and to explain why they purchased saws, trash bags, and cleaning supplies the night Loof disappeared. Trail said he used them for his antiques, but an antique expert testified Thursday they don't use saws on antiques unless they're being repurposed. He initially claimed he cut her up to conceal the crime. He later says it was a ritual in line with his religious beliefs. Trail says they had to cut her up and drain her blood to release her soul to the gods in a sacred spot. I said if she had died intentionally, okay, that would have been eight points. That right. means I said she was laid out in the six points. Right, right. Okay. That helps her reincarnate faster. He also claimed Bailey Boswell had nothing to do with the murder. Reporting Wilbur, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. You can see all the stories we've done on the trial, plus the most up-to-date information as it continues on our website, 3newsnow.com.